Look who's not going to the laundry mat no more. This is the aftermath of all the packaging that came off. It was a whole lot of packaging. This is how the machine looks in the inside, just like a regular washer. And I had these little styrofoam pieces in the inside because some styrofoam came. This is the actual top right here. So far, I didn't see any damages, so that's good. Magic Chef, this is all the controls right here. Obviously, I got the white one because the white one is actually cheaper. It's the back of it right here, where you see all the connections. I still don't see anything wrong. When the FedEx man came, he did drop the, uh, not drop it, but he turned it on his side. And yeah, so packaging on there. So yeah, I struggled taking all of that off. Um. And the weird thing about it, this hose connection was actually wet in the inside. See the water? I don't know why. Maybe they ran a test on it or something. I have no idea why it was wet in the inside. Also came with this little gray thing. I don't know what that is, but stay tuned. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show it does have little wheels if you need to remove this. This is very heavy. I struggled trying to get it into my house, but I got it in. FedEx people left it like you know through my threshold they put it in and that was pretty much it all right y'all so at this point I have set up the machine already I'm gonna link the video down below that helped me to set up the actual machine to my sink because I was having a little bit of a difficulty because the book is a lot to read and you know people don't like to read directions so at this point this is how the machine's looking everything is set up I already tested the faucet to make sure there's no water coming out once I turned the faucet on everything was fine the connection was actually perfect so yeah i put the tie pod and i put one in at first but i will add one later on before it starts to wash because i didn't think it was enough tie pods but i think one is enough for this amount of clothes this is a week and a half worth of clothes this is mainly like pajamas one pair of jeans a pair of sweatpants uh what do you call that a pillowcase um some exfoliating gloves things like that just things i wore around the house um throughout the weeks or whatever or week and a half so right now i'm just like pushing everything down just to not overpack the machine and this is about the same amount of clothes I would take to the laundromat and do one load so right now I'm starting to program the machine just to see where I want to put it at and I advise not to put the machine on soak wash rinse and spin just do wash rinse and spin is way faster but I had to do that and learn between trial and error so that's what I'm doing right now I'm putting it on large bulky and then I'm also going to put it on um, cold just because I do have a lot of different colors in there and I don't want anything to bleed on on one another basically so yeah and that's pretty much it so now it's washing I hope you guys can see them yeah you guys can see because I can see so this is what it's doing it filled up in about five minutes and this is the sound it makes So I'm assuming it's on soak right now and then wash, rinse, and then spin. It is on cold at the moment. I did use the Tide Pods and as you can see, it only adds about $8 a year to your energy bill. Water, I don't pay for it, but I am using it on cold just so there won't be no conflict with the landlord and things like that. So I got a whole almost hour. It fills up pretty well. Um, like the water level is pretty high. People always say to put it on large and bulky because I did put a lot of stuff in here. I don't know if I overloaded it or not, but we'll find out. So I'm going to come back to you guys when it's actually washing. Hey, I'm back. I was a little bit worried about it, but it's now on wash. It took a long time to actually get on wash. It was on 59 when we started and it got on wash at 42. I did pause it a few times because I was like, what's going on? But now it is washing. It actually added a little bit more water. Just now, I'm sorry you can't really see, but it added a little bit more water. And I added one more Tide Pod because I just didn't think it was enough. But yeah, now it's on wash. And now I'm going to let you just listen to how it sounds.
So it's not very loud, but um, I can hear it while we're watching TV. The TV's really low, so you can't really All hear right, it. Alright, y'all, so now it's rinsing. I don't know why the water looks so dirty, but <laughs> it's rinsing now. Because my clothes are not even that dirty, so I don't understand why it looks like that. But it's coming out pretty quickly or whatever. So, yeah, it's rinsing all the water. It could be the dye from certain things. Why the water looks dark like that, but yeah. I promise my clothes are not that dirty. <laughs> it's been like one week, literally. So now it's spinning. And I was worried about the spin part. <laughs> I was hoping that it wasn't like off they said you have to level it. And it looks like it's doing pretty good to me. So it's spinning all the water out of the clothes. We're taking water out. So a lot of water. A lot of soapy water. Alright, so now it's on rinse and this is the water that's coming out. Um it was a tiny bit, little bit soapy. So after the rinse, this is the water that's coming out after. As you see, it's clear and clean. And now it's about to go into the spin cycle and we are at 18 and i set this up all by myself so girls if you're scared to do this and you don't have a man in the house and stuff you don't need no man <laughs> what you gotta do is watch some videos i'm gonna link the video down below that helped me connect this to my actual sink i had it but i was a little bit confused okay so now it's starting to spin and we're at 17 minutes it says rinse still so I don't know, I guess it's rinsing out the extra water. So this is the extra water that's coming out in the rinse cycle. As you guys can see. This fan is a little bit loud, but like I said, it's nobody under me and the machine itself is not shaking. Basically, that's a little moving a little bit, but that's normal. But the actual machine is like still, it's not moving at all. Oh, so I guess it's gonna rinse again. There's more water being added. I hope you guys can see that. So yeah, there's more water being added in. And I thought it was finished, but it's still on rinse. So I guess it does another rinse. I didn't put extra rinse, but I guess that's just how the cycle is. Cause it's on heavy, bulky, cold, large, 13 minutes left. So I guess it's gonna rinse one more time. Oh yeah, so the clothes are finished. Um, This is how they're looking right here. They look clean, I'm gonna smell them. Oh, they smell good. So yeah, they look clean, everything looks good. I'm broad to see if it's all bent up. No, it's good. So yeah, everything's looking good. That's the little lint trap. Um, I'm not gonna take that out right now because I don't really know how. So that's my review on a Magic Chef 1.6 washer I got from Walmart. I washed a week and a half worth of clothes. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.